Good morning and welcome to Vlogmas Day 8 where I'm about to get started with my meal prep. I just got out of the shower and before I finished getting ready I figured there was a few things with my meal prep I could get started including peeling my potatoes and getting those pressure cooking in the instant pot and putting my two squashes in the oven. So if you didn't catch yesterday's Vlogmas where I did my meal planning and went grocery shopping, today I'm going to be making a lentil loaf shepherd's pie along with baked mac and cheese and peas as well as these two squashes that I think I'm going to mix one with oats and turned into baked oatmeal. And the other one is a spaghetti squash that I'm just going to heat up some pasta sauce. I intended to buy zucchini yesterday. I said it like four times in the video, but never put it on my grocery list and forgot to buy it. So right now I'm going to get those potatoes pressure cooking and get the squashes in the oven. So I have a jump on my meal prep and I'll see you back when I am done getting myself ready for the day. Hello again and welcome to phase two of my meal prep today. So the squashes weren't quite done after 30 minutes. I only had them in at like 350 and I started questioning did I cook them at 400 last time? Anyway, I gave those another 15 minutes. I need to pull those out. The potatoes and carrots in the Instant Pot are done pressure cooking. All the pressure is out of the Instant Pot and those are just keeping warm. So let me grab those squashes real quick and then I'll get on to the next step of meal prep. Ooh, that's warm. Squashes are all cooked. So the next thing I need to do is get some stuff going on the stove. I need to get a pan going with my lentils for my lentil loaf. I've already chopped my vegetables for my lentil loaf, so I need to get those cooking in some veggie broth, and I need to cook the elbow macaroni as well. So I'm going to start with doing the lentils and the lentil loaf vegetables. That way I can get the lentil loaf mixed up and in the oven cooking. Then I'll get the macaroni on. And then at some point while the lentil loaf is cooking in the oven, I'll have to get my potato cheese mixed up. Trying not to get too ahead of myself today, so let's start with that, cooking the lentils and the lentil loaf vegetables. Date time. I am just waiting for my lentils to finish cooking. They have six minutes to go on my timer. The vegetables for the lentil loaf are cooked beautifully. Side note, I did forget mushrooms in the lentil loaf, so I put in like extra carrots. Shouldn't be a big deal, but just goes to show even when I'm cooking my own recipe, I like still need to look at it. I went to go look at my lentil loaf recipe today and I'm like, oh, mushrooms, I did forget an ingredient. I remembered everything else, but... So since I have about five minutes until I can put the lentil loaf together and put that in the oven, I'm going to go ahead and mix up my potato cheese. 
I do have everything else ready to go for the lentil loaf as far as I made my glaze with barbecue sauce, ketchup, and sriracha. I have my oats sitting out, soy sauce, and then all of my spices measured out in here. So if you're looking for a good potato cheese recipe, I'll post a link to mine. I always kind of wing it with my spices depending on how many potatoes and carrots I have. Today I used an entire bag of baby cut carrots and it was a five pound bag of potatoes but I ate a couple of them for breakfast so... <laughs> I'm not sure exactly what I did to get this perfection. Can you believe this is potatoes and carrots? It looks like Velveeta or something. Amazing. This is gonna make such a good baked mac and cheese. You know I got a taste test. Needs more salt. I forgot jalapeno juice. Taste test number two. That's the stuff. Now I'm gonna get my lentil loaf ready to go into the oven. Only half of the lentils, half of the oats. All of the seasonings, soy sauce, Tomato paste. Now I'll mix together that mushy mixture with the rest of the lentils and the rest of the oats. Did I mention I was cutting my lentil loaf recipe in half to do a half size portion today? So I cut the recipe in half. I need to double check the cook time, but I'm also making this into like a shepherd's pie with a mashed potato cauliflower topping. So I need to cook this, then add the glaze, cook it again, and then add the mashed potato topping. But I need to get that glaze a little bit cooked into this before I add the mashed potatoes. So I need to double check my time, but I have the oven at 350 right now. I'm gonna pop this in for 10 minutes, double check myself. I need to do a couple dishes and then I'm gonna get the elbow macaroni boiling as well. Lentil loaf update. According to my own recipe, I cooked it with half the glaze on it for 30 minutes at 375 and then added the rest of the glaze and did another five to 15 minutes. Since today I'm cooking a half batch, it's a little bit thinner in the pan. I don't think it needs a full like 45 minutes. So I think I'm gonna do 10 minutes as it is right now add the glaze, do another 10 minutes, and then add the mashed potato topping, do another 10 or 15 minutes. And I think on top of the mashed potatoes, I'm going to do a little crispy crust, like a, uh, let me show you. I'm going to mix these two things together, maybe with like a little garlic powder or something. I'm gonna do this as the topping on the mashed potatoes of the shepherd's pie, and also on my baked mac and cheese. As soon as this water's boiling, I will add my elbow macaroni. Ooh, this is smelling really good.
There she is with the glaze. Gonna give her another 10 minutes. While the lentil loaf's in the oven another 10 minutes, I need to cook that riced cauliflower. I get it in the steamable bag, so throw that in the microwave. And I need to mix together the chickpea and the panko to make my little topping. Mac and cheese time! I'm not sure the camera can capture the deliciousness that is the mac and cheese. I need to add the peas to it and make the crispy topping before it goes in the oven. The peas are also frozen and in a steamable bag, so I just pulled out the cauliflower. Now I need to put the peas in. So I'm going to mix this cauliflower with some of that potato cheese and put that as my potato topping for my lentil loaf. Then I'm gonna mix up my crispies to put a crispy topping on the lentil loaf as well as my baked mac and cheese and peas. So that's my next plan. taking longer than expected and I'm getting pretty hungry so I'm gonna try this I would like to thank my sister for feeding me mac and cheese and peas this is so good I think that baked stuff with the crispy topping is gonna to be good when I went to put the two little mac and cheeses in the oven I could smell the garlic from the topping on the lentil loaf very excited for this meal prep Next, I need to take care of these squashes that have been sitting on the oven. Right now, I'm just going to like scoop them out of their shell, make sure they're still good because if you watched my vlog miss yesterday, they've been in my fridge for a little while. I have one more of those mini loaf pans, so I think I'm going to take some of that butternut squash and mix it with some oats and pop that in the oven, and that's going to be my dessert later. And that spaghetti squash, I have a jar of sauce sitting out I want to mix that with. Maybe I'll just go ahead and pre-mix that into some containers and have that like ready for a meal. Anyway, time to take care of the squash and the lentil loaf and the mac and cheese have seven minutes to go.
I don't remember exactly what time I started this meal prep because I was getting ready for the day, but I think it was about three hours. It might have been a little less just because of the cooking and I don't really know. <laughs> I really just wanted to share what I was cooking this week because I felt like I had some good ideas of some new things to try and my fridge is really empty except for some chickpea of the sea that I made last week. Oh and I brought, I bought broccoli yesterday. I meant to chop that up. Oh well it's ready to go. So I think the things out of the oven should be cool enough for me to sample. That's what I want to do right now. I guess before I get into sampling I should show you what I made. <laughs> I have two big tubs of potato cheese left over and some peas so I can definitely make some more macaroni and do some more of this baked macaroni and cheese if it's good, which I think it will be. <laughs> For the spaghetti squash, I scooped one half into each one of these containers, added some of that oil-free pasta sauce. So I'll have these ready to throw in the microwave for a quick meal. Side note, over the summer I did freeze some spaghetti squash with pasta sauce already on it and when I unthawed it and reheated it I felt like it was still pretty good. Good enough that I would do it again. It was not bad by any means. And I can be a little bit picky when it comes to stuff out of the freezer like that. Like I think I've mentioned my potato cheese, I don't think it freezes very well. Not in soup, not in cheesy hash brown casserole, not by itself. I have this much butternut squash left over. Like I mentioned, what I think I want to do is mix this with some oats, bake it in one of these little loaf pans for some baked oatmeal for breakfast. So I decided I'd just go ahead and do that tomorrow morning rather than trying to like pre-make it because obviously it'll be better fresh. I think these baked oatmeals look delicious. I'm not sure if I baked them long enough. I think I only baked them about 10 minutes. I'm a big fan of crispy brown edges and I feel like my potato cheese does do good. Got a few of them here on the lentil loaf or is that from the barbecue sauce? I don't know, but it looks good. <laughs> so let's try the mac and cheese. Dad! This is good, but I think I want it more baked. I think while the oven's still warm, I'm gonna go ahead and put this in for another like 15 minutes or so. Just one of them to try it out. I've made lentil loaf in the shepherd's pie style a lot of times. I think I did a fall comfort foods meal prep where I did that with the rice cauliflower mashed potato topping. I have not tried my potato cheese on top of the lentil loaf, but I really like my potato cheese with barbecue stuff. So I feel like with the glaze and the lentil loaf, I think this is gonna be really good. It's still steaming. Doesn't that look good? Get in my belly. That is amazing. That is one of the best things I've ever cooked. Everything together is just so good. The lentil loaf, the glaze, the potato cheese, the crispy topping. Mmm. That's what I'm having for lunch. And because I did that with the rice cauliflower, I really think I can pretty much count this as a 50-50 plate. The lentil loaf is like half vegetable, half lentil and oat. The topping is half potato, half cauliflower. I mean, I'll probably have broccoli anyway just because I love it, but I think that this is so good. I want to try baking this one more time before Christmas and make it into mini muffins. I did that at Christmas time last year with the lentil loaf with mashed potato topping and they were a big hit. I think this will be an even bigger hit this Christmas. Yeah, I'm totally having that for my lunch. Well, my kitchen is now a total disaster and my cats are begging for their lunch. So I think I'll go ahead and end Vlogmas Day 8 here. Thank you for joining me today for Vlogmas Day 8. I will see you back tomorrow for Day 9. Be well. Penny, are you chewing on a cardboard box? Hi, Penny. Is it time for lunch? It is almost 2.30. Yeah. Can you tell time? <laughs> You're so precious. Not for you.
you knock my ring light over, dude. You're sweet. Dude! This kitchen cleanup is going to take a good 30 minutes, I'm guessing. Gotta wash the Ninja, the Immersion Blender, the Instant Pot, the pots and pans I used, like. I wish I had a dishwasher. A machine or a man. <laughs> uh, JK, a machine. 